Assalamualaikum and a good day to everybody. So for today's lesson, we're going to learn about differentiation. Okay. So in order to know what is differentiation, we must know what does it mean by differentiation. Okay. So the definition of differentiation, usually it's a mathematical tool that is used to calculate rate of change and also slope of tangent lines. So we're going to see what does it mean by rate of change and slope of tangent lines. So, let's say we have a simple linear graph. Okay, we have a simple linear graph here. So, we have um, this graph from point A to point B. This is a linear graph. Alright, so if we want to find the gradient here, so the gradient between point A to point B, uh, so we have to find the changes, or we call it as a delta Y, divided by delta X. So, let's say if we A is X1, Y1, and B, the point is x to y2. So in order to find the changes, is equal to uh, y2 minus y1 divided by um, x2 minus x1. So, but for linear graph, the constant rate of change, the, 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 the gradient are the same for each point here. So meaning the constant rate of change. Okay, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, um, change between the point. So in this point, between this point, the, it is constant. Alright, so what if the curve graph? So what if we want to, uh, to search the gradient for the curve, curve graph? So for this matter, so if you look at, for example, here, it is the what we call it as a quadratic graph. Okay, so in this point, we have to find it using the slope of tangent. So this is, let's say we have one line here. So this one we call it as a tangent. So meaning that the, uh, we take the tangent lines at specific point in the graph. So we have to find what is the um, slope gradient over here. So it could be, so meaning the tangent is line that touch the curve of a single point. So so when it touch a single point, so this is what we call it as a tangent line. So if we, as we can see here, the straight line here, so we can see that the value of the uh, slope or the gradient is uh, negative, right? So it's much more steeper compared to this one. It's also negative, but the steeper is more less. So until here, so the gradient is become zero. So for this point, the gradient would be positive. So it become more, more steeper, but more positive. So. So as we can see from the graph here, the gradient is constantly changing. Depends on the point in the curve, it's constantly changing. So let's say if we look at, at the textbook here. So we look at the textbook here. So if we have point P here, we want to find the tangent line here. We want to find the tangent line in point P. We have this graph, which is this graph. We have the point of XO, okay, XO and X, okay, and then for the Y, we have point in FX0 and also FX. So this is the, the curve line. So this is a second line, meaning the line that touch the tangent point and also uh, point from Q. So as you can see, when the Q approaching P, okay, let's say if we have point here, point here, so this point is Q. So when it's approach new to the, uh, approach to the point P, the thing, uh, the, we can find the uh, the tangent of P. So start from here to here. So when the nearer Q to the P, we can find exactly the value of the uh, gradient in point P. Okay. So means from x to x zero. All right. So in order to find this. So to find the, the tangent, so usually uh, the formula would be um, for to find the, the gradient, it would be um, for, from this point. Eh, let's say we have our x here, fx minus, minus fx0, okay, divide by, to find the tangent, uh, the point x minus x. 0. Am I correct? To find the gradient. So, therefore, 
um, we change the value. So as you can see here, y is equal to fx. Am I right? So y equals to fx. So this one we can change the value to y. That's why this one is y. So we change. Uh, we do like this. Uh, from this one, it become like this. All right. And then, as you can see, that why we are doing like this, the limitation. This is we use the limit. Meaning when x approaching to x0, the limits, so the value become more valid. So from fx minus f0, just now, fx minus f0, divide by x minus x0.